When you think of greenhouse gas, you probably think of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide emissions capture the headlines, but methane plays a critical role in our planet's climate crisis. According to the Environmental Defense Fund, methane has more than 80 times the warming power of carbon dioxide in the first 20 years after it reaches the atmosphere. But methane is mostly hydrogen and is by far the cleanest fuel on Earth. Hundreds of millions of tons of methane are emitted by decaying organisms in wetlands. Methane is also emitted from oil and gas, coal, landfills, and other human activities. Some of it is collected and used as natural gas, but the rest is either flared or just vented. Most of this methane is very dilute, generally mixed in air. If only we could use or destroy it, we could make a huge impact. Removing one ton of methane is equal to removing 25 to 80 tons of carbon dioxide. One ingenious company, Prabhu Energy Labs, is planning to do just that. Meet the Oxyparator. It can consume methane in air as weak as half a percent methane. As the mixture travels through, it is heated by hot returning gases and also mixes with them. We use the heat to run a turbine or a turbocharger. Nobody else can generate power with such weak gas. Nobody. The Oxyparator consumes the second most potent greenhouse gas and also generates electricity. When we generate power from methane, we can avoid making it from oil, gas, or coal. We created the world's most fuel-flexible power plant. It'll run on anything, hydrogen, waste gas, flare gas, etc. We want to consume millions of tons of methane. We want to make a big dent in climate change. Hundreds of millions of tons of methane are emitted from wetlands, lakes, and permafrost. Perhaps methane can become the new renewable energy.